Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Come On The Hoop Celtic. So it's a brand new week. It's a big, big week in perspective of being a Celtic fan, rebuilding structure. I've touched on the previous video about Ange Postacolu coming in. It's been invariably agreed that he's going to join the club. He's going to take his first training session down in the training camp in Wales on the 5th of July. He has to do a 10 days quarantine. So on Saturday, emerged that Celtic and Yokohama came to a deal and compensation package for Ange. Look, in my last video, I thought it was a bit hard on him. I thought, like, I was, I'm looking at it from an unknown perspective, which I didn't know much about this man. I looked up a bit a bit about him, where he's obviously managed in the Australian youth set up right up to the senior team, got them to a World Cup and an Asia Cup as well. It's just with the no FIFA, with the no UEFA badges, it's that's why I was in the unknown. But look, at, I'm gonna have to get behind them at the end of the day. Suck it up or not, one fans can rant all he wants on YouTube. The club are making this appointment. I wish him the very best. I wish that he comes in, hits the ground running. We're in a tough qualifier against Moishland, Garitas Roy, or Rapa Vienna. It's a big season to rebuild the squad. As we know that Odson Edward is about to leave, go to Leicester City. Reportedly, the fee is between 15 to 18 million. So it's 15 million with 3 million add on. Now, PSG are going to pocket up to 40% of this fee because back in when we, we bought them almost four years ago for 8 million, that was the deal that they, once they once Celtic sell them off, they'll get a big portion of this transfer fee as well. I wish them the very best. We've had some great moments with Odson Edward. I know he only scored 22 goals this season. He wasn't at the races. He was obviously out with a COVID case and he had no partner up front, but some great moments. He was the man that scored a double to win the treble treble. So are some crucial goals in Europe for us. Crucial goals away in Ibrox as well. Even at Celtic Park. His free kicks, his attribute, the passion he had was absolutely class. But we replaced Dem Dembele well, I have to say. But I wish him the very best. A lot of people are getting angry saying oh, he's leaving for the money. It's a no-brainer. Go, you know. If you're getting offered double the amount of money in the Premier League and you've done four years at Celtic and you're not a Celtic fan... Go, do whatever you want. I wish him the very best. I know he's going to be working under Brendan Rodgers, but at the end of the day, Brendan got the best out of him as well when he was at Celtic. So, good time, good times ahead for Austin Edward. And there's a lot of rumours at the moment as well about Christopher Royer. He came out last week to the Norwegian press and said that he wants to leave Celtic in the, this summer. Sorry, in the summer. It is the summer now. He wants to leave. There's a couple of teams that he's been linked with. He's been linked with Brighton been linked with North City that which are gonna be recently promoted and Newcastle. I say more like he probably will go to Newcastle. It just depends if Mike Ashley and the club fork out decent money from. They're saying a fee around eight million. I think we could get more from I think around twelve million, pushing toward eight million from I think he's been a phenomenal player. We're missing all these assets going forward as a club, but players come and go, you know, we went through a very similar transition with the likes of Martin O'Neill, the Gordon Strachan transition where people didn't really want Gordon Strachan in came in players all the old Deadwood was moved on and that's what Ange is notorious for Ange only kept one big senior player in the Australian squad that was Tim Cahill so hopefully he comes in Mark Bosnitz had came out and said that he's um he plays exciting style of football from the Aussie sales that I've I've listened to and watched they've said that look at this guy takes no shit the Glasgow ball won't be no problem to him. He'll speak his heart. Hopefully, the club back him. If it's domestically buying or it's going out in the market or getting a few players from the A League or the J League, let's see. Can they live up to the hype? Because this is a massive season ahead. We're used to winning trebles. We've been disappointed last season, not winning a trophy in a long time. Can we get the league back? Time can tell. All he needs to do is take that, go to that training ground in Wales. And then get ready for these pre-seasons against Preston North End, Sheffield, Wednesday, West Ham, then a European qualifiers, and then we start off the campaign as well. But I want to give a massive shout out to Magic Sponge on Instagram for the jersey. I really appreciate it. And if you're not aware of the news as well, the Hoops Bar is about due to close down at the end of the month. They're doing a fundraiser. So the link is in the comment below. They need, they need a, as far as I know, I think they need £10,000 
to survive, which it's a lot of money these days, especially in a global pandemic. So I wish the hoops were the very best. I had a great time in there for the double treble and also drinking in there before the Barrelands were chariting the boys. So let's see what happens. But there's no other transfer rumours. Nesbitt has been linked with us as usual, but nothing in concrete yet. So if you could hit the subscribe button, thumbs up, let us know what you think about Ange. As I said, the last video, I was a bit hard on him. I'm going to admit I was a bit hard on him, but it's, as I said, it's coming from the unknown as a Celtic fan. We're used to getting managed in that have pedigree, but a lot of people have said to me, look at the likes of Will Janssen and Arsene Wenger. They came from the Japanese leagues and they were success. Arsene Wenger was an absolute success at Arsenal and Will Janssen obviously stopped 10 in a row. So football has changed drastically, but we gotta, we got we got to just back this man now. At the end of the day, he, he has to realise he can't lose three games or four games in a row or drop points because Celtic fans destroyed off success and Neil Lennon said that a new there's a new type of Celtic fan in the world. Hardly like you know, at the end of the day, we're a club that's has to be forced. Has to be forced to win the league or it's a failure, as we seen last season. He said that Celtic fans were obsessed with ten the row. It's no it's a no brainer. We've been seeing this since what, two thousand and twelve up to la up to last season. So has to, had to be done. Neil Lennon, I think his remarks in the Times are quite snotty. Like, I love Neil Lennon. I had a lot of time for Neil Lennon, but obviously he has a, a personal personal coach now and he's doing meditation, whatever he's up to. I wish him the very best, but the way he came out and slated Celtic fans, there was no need for it. There was no need for it. It's utter rudeness. I understand he was under a lot of pressure and, and there was a portion of fans that went out, went out of limits that destroyed the stadium for Ross County and stuff. But there was... There was times where the peaceful protest as well at other games. Like Neil Lennon can't admit that his coaching staff, his players weren't motivated. We went a spell of winning two games out of 12 between October to December. And he thinks that's all right for a club like Glasgow Celtic. So we're going back to the Ant situation. If Ant goes through that, we gotta we gotta have that fate. It could be he could win the league for us. He could win the league. I hope he does. Or it could be a case he could be gone by by Christmas, we'll have to give him a bit of time to get that squad together. It's July, you know. At least he needs at least a season to get in there and rebuild the squad. Because people always ask me, what's going to happen? Is it a case that we're going to take the lead back straight away next season? I highly doubt it, because the clear out, you know, it could be a case that Rogers might be re-energised and playing for us. But I don't know if he's going to get ahead of Turnbull. That's the thing. We're losing that. We're losing Bruni. We're going to lose Oyer. We're going to lose Ed. Edward and the champ could be going to AK Athens, could be waving off that barcast fee from last season. So we'll have to see. It's all it's all up in the air at the moment. I hope he's like the new away jersey as well. It's an absolute belter. Sexy jersey. So I'm um, looking forward to it. As far as I know, they're gonna do the away they're gonna do the away jersey, then the tour jersey launch, the training gear, and then the home gear is gonna be launched. So we'll have to see. Take care folks. I wish you the very best. Safe, safe week. Hopefully I'll have more news in the next couple of days and I appreciate the support on the page. Hell hell, take care.